Hey friends, I'm Sunish from Team Must, and in this video, I'm gonna discuss a cool, cool trick to check whether a given number is perfect square or not. I mean, I assure you, after watching this trick, you're gonna tell at a glance that this number is not a perfect square or is a perfect square. You're gonna conclude it really, really fast. So let's discuss the trick. The trick has just two rules. Rule number one being the unit digit of a number whose uh, whose you have to check whether this number is square root or not should not be either of these numbers 2 3 7 or 8 i mean what i mean to say is the last number of whose you have to check whether this number is square root or not should not end with mm, the number 2 or 3 or 7 or 8 if i ask you is a number 678 a perfect square you would say no it's not because this number ends with the number 8 so I conclude that this number is not a perfect square and if I ask you is the number 1378242 is it a perfect square which is no because again the last digit of this number is 2 which means it just does not satisfy the rule 1 so we conclude that this number can never be a perfect square so at a glance you could just conclude that this number is not a perfect square now what about those numbers uh, which end with the digits 1 or 4 or 5 or 9 what about those numbers so there goes rule number 2 now what's that so the rule number 2 says that digit sum or a digit root should either be one of these i mean one of one or seven or four or nine now if you guys don't know what is a digit sum or a digit root uh, i just explained in the previous video the this video is basically the continuation of this the previous one uh, as it's the application of the digit sum or a digit root so in that previous video i just explained how to find the digit sum or digit root um, the shortcuts to find the digit sum or digit root i mean when the number was quite large so let me brief you again what was digit sum and how to calculate it so digit sum is basically sum of all the digits up to single digit so the digit sum of numbers 25 would be 7 so now 7 lies in the category of uh, I mean 7 satisfies this rule 2 I said that digit sum or digit root should either be one of these so it's one of these the number seven as it's here present in here so that simply means the number 25 lies in the category of being a perfect square so let's take another example now suppose if I have to check for this number the number 9754525225 to check whether this number is perfect square or not so what I would do is I'll go back to my rule one what what did it say rule one that the unit digit the last digit that is the last digit should not end with the either of the number two three or seven or nine so it's not among all these numbers so as the last number is five so the rule one is satisfied so we move forward to rule two which said that you just calculate the digit sum and if the digit sum is from either of the numbers one four seven nine then we are good to go for this conclusion that this number is a perfect square now seeing this number the digit sum would be 5 and 2 plus 2 cancel 5 4 9 gets cancelled and it gives me 1 0 and again the, so the digit sum comes out here to be 1 which means it satisfies the rule satisfies the rule 2 which said that digit sum should either of the numbers or either it should be 1 or Four or seven or nine so it is one so we conclude that this number lies in the category of being a perfect square as simple as that now you might be wondering that how quickly I just did calculate the digit sum of this long number so don't be surprised I said that I made a video of this of checking whether this uh, of finding the digit sum of any number uh, any long long number the shortcut trick so the link is visible on your screens right now or in case you have turned off your annotations the link is always av available in the description below so do watch that video in which i discussed about the digit sum or digit root of a number so this was it 
now the time for final conclusion now does this method seem to give uh, give always the right answer is it such let's take example let me take an example to clear this confusion as well suppose the number is 250 and we have to check whether this number is perfect square or not now I'll go to the rule one which said that it should not end with the number 2 4 7 and 8 so in this case unit digit is 0 so we are good to go for rule 2 as it satisfies the rule 1 um, now the rule 1 said uh, rule 2 said that check uh, calculate its digit root uh, digit or digit sum in this case it's 2 plus 5 plus 0 gives me 7 so again the rule 2 is satisfied again as rule 2 said that the digit sum should be either of 1 4 7 9 so it's 7 so again rule 2 is satisfied again but as you see is this number 250 a perfect square it's, it's a big no so what basically this trick does so as you see you are appearing for aptitude exams whether it be any UPSC or bank PO or CAT or MAT or something or placement papers the challenge is basically the time the only barrier is time so this trick helps in eliminating those options which you confirm that these are not perfect squares so it, the trick just helps you eliminate all those options and puts you in the category yeah this number can be a perfect square when you have concluded that this number is a perfect square you are good to go to calculate its square root so i put you with another link which the video i made for calculating the square root of a number within seconds so again the link is visible on your screens or in case you have turned off your annotations uh, it's always present in the description below so that was it for this video hope you like this video again and uh, what else be masked and keep rocking as always bye, -bye.